I don't want to suffer the consequences of our future president not liking my Indian food. Can I just tell you something? Yeah. I've never made dosas. over the stuff from the store. He's like, obviously, I put them in Taster's Choice. But this literally was how my mother kept all of this stuff. That's so funny. They, what is that? Do they tell each I other? I don't know. <laughs> I'm here in my kitchen, and today we are cooking, but we have a very special guest. Very special. Senator Kamala Harris. Hi, guys. <laughs> Wait, so here's what I want to know. Okay. Is it respectful to call, I should be calling you Senator Harris, no, right? No, you should not. That's not on my birth certificate. Okay. Call, Comma? Call me, yes, please. Okay, because the Indian in me, I feel like my parents, <laughs> my dad will me, watch this. Just don't call me auntie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I won't call you auntie. They'll be like, how could you call her by her first name? She's worked so hard. Okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is well, an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh -huh. supermarket, uh -huh. on the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited about to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes, um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. I've been telling people you we're do. related already, yeah. so this is uh -huh. perfect, it's basically <laughs> true. Uh, and so were you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food, lots of rice and yogurt, potato curry, dal, lots of dal, idli. Yes, Italy. Mm, That's um, a deep cut. Okay, so what we're cooking today is two things. One of the South Indian staples is dosa, yeah. which is kind of like a sourdough crepe. And then we're gonna make a potato yes. curry, which is the traditional accompaniment. Yep. So I printed okay. out, so <laughs> Where did we're you doing get this it the old fashioned way, which is I printed out a recipe from the internet. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so when I told my dad that I was gonna be cooking South Indian food for you, he yes. was extremely excited. He Aww. said, I shall, get, I shall get the spices, but he yeah. took them all all the Indian spices, and he put them in. In the Taster's <laughs> Choice jars, and this is exactly what my mother would do. So when I walked in and saw this, literally, I didn't know it was actually a thing among our I people. I guess it's an Indian it thing. It apparently is a thing. Okay, cool. So this is all the spices we're gonna use, courtesy okay. of my dad. Okay. And then, doses take a really long time to make yes. the batter. So what we have is this great company, this Indian company actually, oh. makes ready to make. You can get it at the Indian store. So okay. we're busy. It's yeah. dripping. Okay, it's oh fine. yeah, it's dripping, okay. <laughs> So South Indians, it's vegetarian. It's yes. all vegetarian. So when we were growing up and we'd go to India and my grandfather was a little mischievous. So my grandmother, of course, was like strictly no nothing. If it had a mother, it was not getting eaten. Mm -hmm. And if my grandmother would go out of town, my grandfather would then, um, he'd get very mischievous and he'd say, okay, let's have French toast. <laughs> <laughs> because of course that has eggs. Egg. So... When I would go and visit my family, obviously no meat. Even the dog no, no, would eat no, right. rice, rice and yogurt. And yogurt. Yeah, oh, yeah. The dog would eat rice, oh, yeah. and rice no. The dog would like the rice yeah, and yogurt. No. Very good Hindu vegetarians. Mm -hmm. But then I'd get older, cool cousins who would take me out on the, their motorcycles, <laughs> and we would go get we would all split like a lamb burger. Right, it was fast like a, food. Right, right. But like no beef or anything, right. obviously. But we would have lamb burger, and then mm -hmm. we couldn't tell any of our grandparents about it. That's yeah. that's a fine shop. Right. Okay, Senator Harris, I say this with respect. Okay. You're kind of a show off. Right. <laughs> it's like, meanwhile, it's Look taken me 20 minutes to do this much of ginger. Okay, what can she do? You got my vote. <laughs> So your mom worked, and my mom worked, but my I mom mean, also- Your mother was a doctor. Well, it's just an inter interesting thing about Indian women of a certain generation yeah. is you had to do both, Yeah. right? Like oh, my yeah. mom would wake up at five in the morning before she went to the hospital yeah. to see patients, and she yeah. would cook food for the whole week. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mommy did that too. And so some yeah. food that was cooked, dinner food was cooked at 6 a.m., yeah. and then she would leave, and yeah. then so all of our food yeah. was cooked, and we, of course, didn't understand. We're like, we want to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Like, and But there is this mm -hmm. a four-course Indian meal for us, even if she wasn't there to eat it with us. And it was that yeah. kind of a thing that was completely normal when you're the children of professional immigrants. Listen, this is how it was, because we would often come home from school before our mother would come home from work. Mm -hmm. And then when, and there was always fresh baked cookies. No. Or always, always, always. Oh my gosh. She, so all of that stuff, like everything was from scratch. And this is why maybe I've become 
Hopefully not a snob about food. Someone but who I, can I cook take a it. cut of onions like that. <laughs> like we're on a but I take cooking it show. Very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is controversial. I put peas and cashews in mine. Yeah, I noticed is. that. That was. Um, you know, I mean, okay, it's fine. You right. could do, your like, silence was very damning. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew what you no, wanted to do. No, but you know do. what? I want to try it. Go but on, we'll do. go for it. No, because I don't want to suffer the consequences of our future president not liking my Indian food. So why don't I just no? We'll just I think play it's it safe. Okay, put a couple in. Just put a couple. In. <laughs> Can I just tell you something? Yeah, I've never made dosas. Okay, but you're really good about critiquing them. No. Great. <laughs> this is going to be great for me. Um, all right, so let's get to the cooking part of it. I always use too much oil. I'm often surprised when I make things from scratch. Right. This is why I needed a U.S. senator to witness me do it. <laughs> you are doing such a good job. Mm. How old were your parents when they came over? My parents were, I think, almost maybe late 20s, like 28, oh, 29, really? 30. Yeah. Yeah. See, my mother came when she was 19. Wow. By herself. No way. Mm -hmm. Wow. My grandfather was very progressive, mm -hmm. and she wanted to study science. My mother's father was the same way. And you know, this is the thing that's really interesting because people have these these stereotypes and actually misconceptions about who Indians are. I mean, at least I can speak about my own experience and you have yeah. a similar experience, it sounds like, where, you know, my grandfather was very progressive. Like his daughter wanted to go and do that and he was like, go ahead. I think this is done. I think so too. And I think that we can move on to dosa. Okay. Here's my pre-made dosa mix that thousands of Indian women around the world are gasping that I'm using. I'm just gonna put some oil in the pan. Okay. Now, would your family, would they do the thing where they took the paper towel and spread it around? Or did they just leave oh, it Oh yeah, this? yeah. I just wanna let you know that I'm really stressed about doing this since you're... <laughs> okay, can I just tell you, I'm in awe that this is happening at all in a real kitchen in front of me. Look at how gorgeous that is. You're doing such a great job. So I think the key to dosa is very simple, which is a lot of oil. So what I do is put a little bit of oil in the holes uh -huh. to make it like crispy. Oh, that's smart. My dad kind of always did this. Hi! <laughs> this is your father? This is my dad, Avu. Hi, Uncle! Dad, Hi. this is Senator Harris. So to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet it's you. so good to meet, to meet you. you. Thank you for coming. My grandparents lived in Bessanegger. Yeah, uh -huh. I, actually, I, they were in my the, family lives there. Yeah, so I would go and take a walk in on the morning on the, the, beach, on the yeah. beach with my grandfather. Yeah. Dad, do you know that her family keeps spices in Taster's Choice bottles? We would keep the same in Taster's Choice uh, bottles. Why uh, is it that you guys keep uh, these things in Taster's Choice? I never asked, but my mother drank coffee, Taster's Choice coffee every morning, so I guess... And we recycle everything, of course. Wait, Senator Harris, what do you okay. think of this dosage? I think it's done. That's really good. I think it's going to be pretty good. There we go. <gasps> wow. I am really impressed. Okay, so now the components are all ready. And we're just going to take the potato and put it into the dosas. Yum. And now we we'll fold them over. Oh, that, was the, <laughs> that was the better way to do it. <laughs> Yes, wait. Look at how gorgeous that is. I'm going to do the same thing in mine. <laughs> so, masala dosa. Thank you for eating this. I would give this a hard B minus. Mm, the dosas I weren't, I didn't think they were. But the flavor is very nice. Thank you. Mm. I was nervous cooking in front of you. But you shouldn't be. You're such a good cook. Okay. It Thank you. You're very good. Maybe um, when you're in the White House, I can come and cook you a meal. <laughs> Thank you so much for cooking uh, in my home with me. I'm so glad to be with you. I'm so honored you're and excited amazing. to vote for you. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs>